Technology has always been a force for progress, but there's no question that digital technology has revolutionized the way that we work and live our lives at an unprecedented rate and scale. And as a result, we're witnessing great disruption across all industries and markets, but it's also fueling a new era of innovation with the transformation of public and private sector services, as well as the emergence of numerous digital startups, such as TransferWise here in the UK. And the other good news is that, look, in the UK, we now find ourselves at the forefront of this revolution as one of, if not the leading digital economy in the world. Already over 12% of UK GDP will be generated by digital technologies, up from 10% last year. We do more e-commerce, internet and mobile banking per capita than anywhere else in the world. And last year, we launched over 100,000 new startups. So which from many measures, we're already a leader in the world's digital economy. However, as we look forward, at the adoption of digital across industries today, we're seeing a very mixed picture from those embracing digital as an add-on to those who are truly leading the way and making digital a core part of their strategies and of their business models. Now, while more than half of British businesses have a long-term digital strategy, there's a widening divide across the country as the remainder are falling further behind in the adoption of new technologies. Now a significant proportion, 42%, say they lack the necessary skills inside their business. Other challenges include cyber security, understanding the return on investment and connectivity and all these issues are equally important.